Hi, today we are going to talk about uh, building a SQLite based media player for your website and to tell you something about uh, building a media player well I didn't it didn't take me a single line of code to write this thing it works wonderful it has a full screen mode uh, available offline a uh, lot of features that a media player should have and works. so how I did it was using Microsoft Expression Encoder Microsoft Expression Encoder is uh, bundled up with Microsoft Expression Studio and you can obtain it uh, through Microsoft website further information is in the description section of this video so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select a Silverlight project and to this Silverlight project we're going to import a video a video uh, that can be anything so what I'm going to use is, is wildlife.wmv this is the sample video that comes with my Microsoft Windows 7 after the video has been imported what you need to do is to select a template by default expression is the template that is used it's kind of beautiful but I prefer something different so uh, how about uh, well let's see what we used before okay this is called quicksilver it's also very beautiful but let's go to something like black glass okay so if you want to preview you can just click on it and well it will open up a window and show it in full screen so after you select the template all you need to do is to go and click the encode button and it should encode the video and show the output in the web browser but due to technical difficulties in my PC I'm not able to view it in the browser so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck this preview in browser button but you don't have to do this unless you have problems viewing it in the browser so after that I'm going to hit the encode button depending on the source file you used that is uh, wildlife.wmv if you use something else uh, it will take longer or shorter time the bigger the video is the longer it will take to encode so it's best if you can encode something real small because what we are going to enter here has no or little significance on the output once this is encoded all the source files will go into your my documents folder there there is a expression uh, a, a folder called expression and within it there's expression encoder and that's where your output files should be saved and if you want to view them locally uh, like what I'm doing uh, you'll need a web browser such as IIS or Apache installed in Windows so if you're going to uh, view it uh, upload this content to your web browser web server from a company like let's say Fatcom or GoDaddy you can use something like FileZilla to upload all the files so the encoding process has now finished and let's go find where our source files are it's supposed to be in the documents folder under expression expression encoder and within there there's this output folder where all this encoded stuff go into all these files you see are previous attempts I made uh, I use expression encoder quite a lot and uh, this is what we are interested in you see we have this file life the WMB that's the video that is to be played and some source files so what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of these files and we are going to put it into the web server where it's going to be shown so what I'm going to use is my local web server and these are the files that showed the previous video for you and I'm going to delete them and I will uh, paste the copied stuff over here and now let's go see what we have made so I'm going to refresh this page okay and, uh, you see the new uh, what you call black whatever the template is here it's not the silver finish that we had before and uh, it, it has a lot of features as before almost all the features that we had before so uh, what we have done is we have made a silver light um, web player that you can play a video in. so what you need to do is now you can change uh, uh, the source code of this default.html file 
by opening it in any uh, let's say text editor you can use notepad you can use expression web if you have you can use dreamweaver if you have i la i prefer dreamweaver and you can use notepad plus plus else Ex uh, this time i'm going to use notepad plus plus because otherwise it will take some time to load this bulky software so and the our interest is in line number 166 okay this is the source of the web page that has been shown the media player and in line number 166 there is this media source thing so if you are going to change things around uh, what we need to do is we need to change this name to some other name let's say movie.wmv and uh, we can select the frame rate width and height as we desire uh, it has to be according to the movie that has been displayed otherwise it will have some problems and other than that uh, oh, up over here right below the body tag uh, you had the width and the height of the media player you can play with these values for example if I select 1000 pixels um, it should make the width of the uh, what you call video much lower so I'm going to rename this to movie you remember we changed the name of it and I'm going to play this once again and as you see the width of it is now reduced and it's still working so if you want to show a lot of videos let's say a whole array of them what you can do is you can use a scripting language such as PHP and uh, change this value to something well be something that you can load from a database for example you can use something like PHP echo dollar filing where file name is got from a uh, database so that's about making a media player using Silverlight it was very easy you had absolutely nothing to code everything was ready made and well if you are not having Silver uh, Expression Encoder with you uh, what you can do is uh, you can visit my blog I have as many as uh, possible of these templates and you can download them and use them for yourself uh, but I believe it's best if you can get your hands on Microsoft Expression Encoder it's it's a cool tool uh, to have so I'm Zian Jaredin uh, this is about the end of our tutorial on Expression Encoder to build a Silverlight video player I hope you had a nice time thank you for viewing